And welcome back to What If uh, Goku uh, Been Raised by the Red Ribbon Army What If Part 4, I think we're on? Yeah, we're on Part 4. So, last time in the Dragon Ball Z What If, the tyrant Frieza had come. Vegeta had come to warn them and trained with the Z fighters, hoping to stop the oncoming threat of the lot tyrant Lord Frieza, who had kept him at his who had kept him at his mercy at his feet. Frieza came, uh, came, saw, but did not conquer, as Goku, through year for the years of training, years of controlling his Azara form, had finally reached the legendary Super Saiyan 4 form. Yes, as we just to recap real quick, I have Basically, we have given Goku access to the Super Saiyan 4 form in this what if. Now, it should be noted that the way I explained it, the way uh, it made logical sense because early on and basically in the first one, I believe, because under I have no doubt Goku would have transformed into his 8th form at one point, uh, at minimum one point during his uh, time in the Red Run Army. And I think Jiro and them would have looked at this and see a lot of potential, so they would have. Um, you practice with Goku, devise some way, you know. Eventually got Goku at least recognized friend from foe, ally from enemy. So factor in years of actual training, that allows Goku to basically control himself in a Zara form. And then you factor in King Kai's tra uh, training, and I believe Goku, because he's always looking to improve himself, would have found a way to, at will, access Zara without looking at the move. And then further that training, factoring in... You know, diving deep into your power, basically, it does actually uh, lead to, I think, a natural progression to learning how to become Super Saiyan 4 in some way. Granted, Super Saiyan 4 is more about, like, flex waves coming off the Earth or some crap like that. I didn't quite gra grasp that concept, but to me, it's more like, okay, I've learned to tap into that. That's great. Should know, though, but that right now, the way he can do it, he has to already go into Uzaru form. And then he has to basically concentrate his power and calm down. And even then, Super Saiyan 4 right now, at least for the foreseeable future until we get into much later parts of the series, I am treating like Super Saiyan 3. First minute, Goku can handle all, all the power fine. But after that, it's, he can maybe last about five extra minutes before he's pretty much done. It's going to be a power drainer for the first uh, for the first foreseeable future of the uh, this what if. So anyway, we cut back. Now, we're cutting back a little after, like maybe a week or two after that. After the Frieza saga is done. So, I mean, Chi-Chi and, Go uh, and uh, Yamcha have... I think at this point, they've gotten married. We will see baby... I'm not going to say Gohan. Because they actually don't have the... They know Gohan. Gohan's still alive, too. But they, they don't know in person. I think But I think we'll still use a Go name. We'll, we'll say Goten. We'll go Goten. I said Gohan initially. I, I think Goten's the better one. It makes more sense, honestly. Uh, so they got married, and they are already announcing that they're they're expecting a kid in about you know nine months, and like everyone's like congratulations, Vegeta's like whatever, but you know he's hanging around Capsule Court. He's pissed. I mean he's written Rambert also. Vegeta still has his tail, so he's royally just just on uh, Kakarot, the dumb Kakarot. How could he do that? Granted, he's such a bad. Well, I'll find that for him. I'll do it. I'll beat him. So he goes off for a year. Training in space as he as he did initially. Um, and mind you, this is the year. We're, this is the year leading up to Trunks and arriving. So you know he's pissed, and everyone's and everyone's like, "Well, hey, there goes Vegeta." And, you know, Bulma's just like, oh, "I was just kind of getting uh, used to him. He's you know, a handsome guy and all that, but whatever. He's still a jerk." Uh, so you know, they're all. It's basically, it's a year piece. Uh, Gohan is born. Uh, uh, Gohan. I'm gonna be doing that. Goten is born. Uh, you know, he's cute. He basically look, he's gonna more or less look like he does basically in uh, in the canon except he will have more Yamcha's hairstyle so there is that and uh, Go Goku and Piccolo they continue their training um you know they continue training with each other things along that, those lines at this point Piccolo has pretty much reached his Namek level uh, level of personality where I think it's like yeah I've given up Goku's Goku's a good sparring partner he's honestly you know not a bad guy and at this point, the whole world domination thing is pointless. Um, so, uh, so at this point, there's no way I could beat him. So, whatever, it's good. But you know what? He's still pushing me to, you know, surpass my limits and things along the lines. So, him and Piccolo keep training. Where did I'm trying to remember? Where did I have Piccolo? I think I, yeah, I had Piccolo like right around. Uh, I think he was two million. I want to say he was two million. Uh, so, right, with a year of training, he's probably hit like five million. Piccolo, Goku's probably also. Somewhere in the neighborhood of like five mil. They're probably equal base form wise. Uh, Goku even uh, and, and Goku and him are you know they 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 are 
they're bros, basically. Like, yo, yo. Uh, Goku still loves the Kohan. You know, they're cool. Every, everything's generally fine. Now, but then Vegeta shows back up. Now, this is maybe a month before Trunks shows up. You know, Vegeta shows back up, and he smiles like, Kakarot! Uh, and Vegeta also would be stronger at this point. I think, he'd, I think they're all basically at the same base power level at this point, about 5 million. He's like, that's right, Kakarot, I've found a... You think you, and she's like, I want to, I want to fight with you, Kakarot. It's like, are you sure, Jeets? And say, like, that's right, and I want you to use that Super Saiyan, that form you should, that Super Saiyan, that monkey form of yours. It's like, I, I haven't really figured out a full name for it yet, but I mean, if you want me to, I suppose I could. Um, are you sure about this, best buddy? Yes, I'm sure, damn it. It's like, okay, well, well, is it? Uh, so, you know, uh, Goku just transforms into a Zoro. Now, he's... He can do it a little quicker now, but he still needs to do it with Ozaro, so he transforms into Ozaro, which he, at this point he can pretty much do on a whim. Uh, and then whoo, transforms into Super Saiyan 4, which power-wise would put him adding three zeros onto that, puts that to 2 billion, put him around 10 billion, I believe. No, that no, put him around, sorry, uh, 20 billion. Put him around 20 billion. Uh, and then Vegeta shows off that, you know, he powers up and then turns into Super Saiyan for the first time. And so Vegeta has unlocked the traditional Super Saiyan form through his rage, through his anger of Goku, he, uh, you know, and wanting to still be the best. He's unlocked that form. I think that makes sense. He would do that still. Granted, though, he's only, let's see, quarter of a billion, and then you do another 20. So what's a quarter of a 20th? Um, an 80th? <laughs> he's barely an eight, eighth of his power. Oh, no, so yeah. Yeah, it's like an 80th of Goku's power. So it's like, let's see what you got. And then Goku just blocks his punch. They they trade blows for a little bit. Like, wow, you got a lot stronger. This form, what is this form? I'm locked in its space. Oh, for the sake of beating you, Kakarot! And then, you know, blocks. He's like, yeah, Jeets, but that's great. But you got a long way to go, buddy. He's like, damn it all! It's like, well, what about this? What if I do this? And he throws a moon. That was a fake moon. I was like, I'm not taking it. And then turns into Uzaru form, golden Uzaru form. I was like, no, what do you think? I was like, and then Goku's even like, all right, this is a bit more of a fight. Goku's also, he could probably hold this form a bit like six and a half minutes, let's say. But it's already, this fight's probably gone on for about a minute. So Goku's now starting to drain his power to me, which means it's going to be a bit more of a fair fight. So he, he immediately sees that Vegeta's doing a lot better. It's like, boom, he actually has to really block a hit, just boom, it's like, ugh, that's not, that's not a bad one, Vegeta, boom, just throws Vegeta down, they have a good, they have a good, and like, just, boom, bar knuckle brawl, Goku's starting to tire a bit, but overall, Vegeta can't beat him, Vegeta can't beat him, and Vegeta kind of realizes this, he eventually powers down, he's like, damn it all, <sighs> well, this isn't over, Kakarot, and then Goku's just like, well, yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way, Jeets, <laughs> and then, but, and I think at this point, Vegeta realizes that Kakarot, Goku, Kakarot is a, he's the bar he needs to, he's pushing him to excel now, it's like, uh, so I was like, damn it, as much as I hate to admit it, it's really doing wonders for my training. So they each have a sentence of being, and you know, Vegeta's now living at Capsule Corp for the time being, and uh, Go, Bulma's kind of just liking him there, it's like, yeah, beefcake, and it's like, he's a dick, but he got a dick, you know, <laughs> really, that's probably how it happened, too. Um, uh, <laughs> Uh, so, eventually, they sense a power level, and it's Trunks, and Trunks shows like, well, I was told Frieza was going to show up. Yeah, Frieza showed up, like, a year ago. I was like, oh, wait, Goku, what, what is this? And, they, yeah, they, yeah, you know, this happened. Uh, by the way, the power level wise are still all around 5 million. By, and Tr by the way, that's not really, Trunks, I think, is probably, like, 3.5-ish. Uh, he's a little stronger than, let's say, Goku was on Namek. Makes sense, in, my, in terms of, my, in my head. Because at two, uh, I don't think he was like a full 20, 200 million or something like that. But once we get to these power levels, it gets really hard to keep track of this. So he explains the answer, but he still has that challenge as Goku. And goes to transfer into a Super Saiyan. He's like, what? You mean, what? And then in Trunks basically turns to this. He's like, yeah, I can't do that. And he's like, what? Yeah, I can't do that. Vegeta can do that. He's like, what? but Dad can do that? But you can't. That doesn't make any sense. Like, no, yeah, I can't do that. I can do this, though, and, uh, oh, sorry, phone uh, update, so I can do this, if, but I got a different form entirely, and then he just turns into a Zoro, it's like, he can still turn into that, well, that's great and all, but, I mean, I was like, that's hard, I don't think that can hardly, uh, you know, mm. Mm. okay, 
I I don't think I get that that can really mention. But yeah, but then I do, and then he transfers to Super Saiyan Four, and when and when then he feels that power, it's like whoa. <laughs> it's like ah, they just. They, He's not blocking, you know what? He wouldn't even be blocking with his finger. He'd be blocking him with his tail. Just boom, boom, boom. He still has his tail, too. I didn't even notice that. Dun, 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 dun. It's like, we done here? It's like, yeah, no, you're, you're the real deal. Holy crap, you could kick the ass of... You could blow away the androids of my time. Come with me, please! Uh, I, I don't think you'd do that. But he explains the androids and everything like that. And then Piccolo, they all have that. So now they go through the training and, you know... <clears throat> now, at this point, what, now, at this point, um... After three years, you'd have actually like a little kid, Goten, running around. And, you know, Yamcha, I don't think Chi-Chi would be training at this point. Chi-Chi, I think at this point, has pretty outlandly decided, no, uh, my fighting days are pretty much over. I'll still I'll still keep in shape to help, you know, defend the world if it needs to be. And I think we can settle our powers like around 12 million or 12,000. Uh, 12, um, but, no, I I think it's time. I I think I get, I need to give that up and raise my son, raise my family. Yamcha understands that, but Yamcha's like, yeah, I still I got to help him, babe. He's like, no, I understand. You do what you got to do, honey, and I'll be here to support you. And I'm sure she'll train a little bit with him during the three years, and maybe even get a little stronger. I would put her maybe at 20,000. But Yamcha, Yamcha's training. They're all training. They're not – Krillin's not as strong, unfortunately, as his canon, canon counterpart because he didn't get his um, hidden potential unlocked. Um, so there's that. All of them are probably somewhere in the hundred grands area, the, the high, low to high hundred grand. Maybe Tien could be pushing like the two hundred grand area. The real fo guys we're going to be focusing on here is Piccolo, Goku, and Vegeta. Vegeta's going to be training his ass off, uh, gravity training, everything along those lines. And I think that put him in three years' time, hardcore training on his own. You can see eight million. I think that's reasonable. Goku training with Piccolo, and I think again, I always stand by the belief that if Goku sees something. Like, if he sees Super Saiyan being done, over the course of some time, he can unlock Super Saiyan as well. And I think he unlocks Super Saiyan. I think he does that. <clears throat> he learns to combine it with the Zoro form, things along those lines. So he learns a bu bunch of other new, like, techniques and stuff like that. Now, what are their powers at? And obviously, Goku's going to develop the Heart Virus, things along those lines. Uh... But, and that's going to happen. Because nothing in this, uh, nothing in this scenario prevents that from happening, unfortunately. So... Goku, power-wise, because he's got a training partner in Piccolo, uh, and because it helped, I think also at this point, I think he would uh, like help uh, teach Piccolo the Kaioken. I think Piccolo can, I think it helps uh, he uh, helps somebody out and learns the Kaioken. I think um, because it's just them and not having to train Gohan either. That means they can focus more on each other. Uh, all, and it should be noted, and I think part of the reason Piccolo got such a power boost is because Nail was inside of him, and I pr think Nail probably had his potential unlocked, which is why he's so strong, and that transferred over to Piccolo. Because Piccolo, in the span of three years, was able to basically be stronger than Jero, uh, Android 20. Oop, battery's run low. And I'm going to just put this on the charger, and we are doing a tracking. Uh, we're, and we're moving, we're moving. Oh, the action, action shot here, yeah. This is a sick... I think I haven't had to do an action shot in a while. i turn the light on so i got light in here. Ah, wait a minute. There we go. Action shot. There we go. Uh, the excitement is real, folks. Uh, and there we go. So... <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, that's why I think... That's one of the theories leading to why Piccolo was able to get so strong. Remember, he got strong enough to not just um, beat... Uh, not just close a gap between... Uh, him and Goku at some level, he gets strong enough to be an android who is strong enough to probably take on a Super Saiyan. Uh, and yeah, 19, uh, to be fair, 19 and Duro were not quite Super Saiyan level. Uh, they had to do absorb energy, but he was still strong enough to take them on. So, with high training with Goku and possibly learning the Kaioken, but, and, uh, you know, you, and Goku eventually learning Super Saiyan, I think he learns that about halfway through and then uses that for training and then, like, pushes Piccolo extremely hard. You could be seeing Piccolo now because he doesn't have the hidden potential though it's not as impressive. I say Piccolo's at about a hundred million. I'd say Piccolo hits that, but he's a Namekian, and I always argue Namekians because of the regeneration of higher durability and therefore can handle the higher grade of Kaioken. I would imagine he could probably handle a Kaioken times twenty the same way Goku could handle a times ten with little issue. Uh, likewise, I think, but I and I think Goku honestly is probably somewhere in the. Um, I'd say because he's got a training partner and also doing hardcore training and learning new techniques like Uzaro and Golden Uzaro, like, uh, for instance, like Vegeta learned, 
I I would argue um, he'd be maybe like ten million solid. But once, but initially when they fight the Andrews, probably gonna be more like at eight million because the virus is taking effect. Uh, now this is going to be a big key thing here. Remember, we are dealing with Goku having been raised by the Red Ribbon Army. Uh, it should also be noted that he probably has some talks with his old friend, Colonel Silver, who's very much still alive, I imagine. And again, I can't remember the female officer, but I'm sure she's a, or she was still alive. They maybe even got married at one point and things along. They have a kid. Talks with Ader about his history. Jiro is, because Jiro has been keeping tabs on Goku on some level. And Goku hasn't left the Earth at all. He's aware of how strong Goku has gotten. He's aware of these things. Now, I, there's nothing that Jiro could have prepared, done to prepare for Super Saiyan 4. Also, not much he could have done to prepare. The Kaioken, though, he could prepare for that and everything along those lines. So, when the day comes, these androids are not the same androids. I would fully imagine... 19 and all of the form these all these androids are far stronger than our canon counterparts and cell is far stronger than his counting canon counterpart so 19 jero and 19 if i because i think i put jero in 19 somewhere between like 170 and 190 i think that's a fair number to put him at i'm honestly saying 19 might be like at 250 and jero might be at like 300 and then whoo Already, they were the 18 and 17 are stronger than their canon counterparts. 18 and 17, I'm not gonna lie, I think you could put like 18, who I think is already at like a 300 million, at like 400, 450, and 70 is like at 460, and then you put 16 like at 700, which would put Cell base form at 700. We're gonna get to all that. Um, but all these guys have to be have to be basically scaled up because of that. So they meet up South City and. And uh, Goku's looking for him, and now uh, Goku, I remember, was raised by the Red Iron Army, and he's got, he's a military brat, so he knows how to, he can locate these guys probably a little easier, and then the, uh, the fighting starts, and, you know, Yamcha gets the, gets the uh, hand of the chest, and he throws Yamcha, and then Goku's like, you must be the android, it's like, no, it's like, were you, are you, and then he just looks, and he sees his adopted, basically his adopted father at the time was Jiro, that was his adopted father. And there's gonna be that moment where he's, and he's just, and he's starting to, Dad, father, it's like, it's, uh, it's like, and you know, Jiro was wondering how he would react seeing for the first time in years, because Jiro, despite everything, did start to look at him like his second son, like the son he lost. And even for Jiro, being an android now, there's, uh, there's still that moment of, my son, and just, hello son and it's, and it's like you know so you're not just so you're not just an you know you go because you're, like, you're not just an android are you you are my father you are jiro you are my father like, what like, then goku again just has to remind them all that like, he was adopted by the red ridden army uh, i was like that's right goku it's like and i've come to, i've come to finish the job ultimate because ultimate it it pains me to do this to kid but i guess the sins of the son uh, father I wait it's basically just it talks about how you know it's regrettable he has to. He doesn't want to kill his son, but he destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. He helped destroy the Red Ribbon Army. He, yeah, I, I, I noticed that on my face now a little bit now. Like, I'm drooping a little. My, I'm not having a stroke. I know I'm not having a stroke. I guess my face just kind of naturally is crooked. Um, yeah, let's try to loosen this up a bit. Um, so yeah, he just shows regrets. Like, I don't want to do this, Goku. You know I don't want to do this. But you left me no choice. I work everything. Just know this isn't personal. This is it. Just know. This, well, it, I just know. I, well, I would like to say this isn't personal, son. But I think we both know that's not true. And then he just fires laser. Go and Goku just bang, gets the ass out of the way. It's like, why are you? Like, Let's not do this. And it's like, uh, if there's a, if at any part of you still thinks I'm your son, you'll give me one request. Like, let's not do this here. And then they go out and yeah, it's like you will not fight me, son. You will fight 19. If you can fight, beat 19, then you'll fight me. It's like, but we, as you know, we've been studying your tactics, we, everything over the years. We've been, and we, I've, des, we've been, I've designed us to be far more superior than you could ever be, no matter what. And they, uh, so, yeah, and then Goku just, is like, I've heard enough! And then just transforms into Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan. And, 
Now, Jerome knew about Super Saiyan 4, and he had some contingencies ready for that. This is a different form, though. Not as strong as it. Impressive, but not but will not be enough. And then Goku just charges and starts beating the ever-loving crap. I think he goes... Because this is not the same... Goku fought and was basically handling 19 with relative ease until he absorbed energy. Remember, Goku's also suffer, starting to suffer from the effects of the heart virus. Goku... Um... Goku's now in rage. Like, this is Goku raging out at the moment. Just, yeah! And then just beating the ever-loving piss out of 19. To the point where I think he just... 19 tries to grab him and just... Boom! Just slices his arm off and just... Ah, and then just... Boom! And then just... Ah, ah, and then blasts it. Luckily, he's got one arm. Let's say... Mm, energy is mine! And just, no. And this Goku just... Ah, it's like, well, I developed us to be able to counteract your Kamehameha, Goku. All your energy... Because then Goku's just holding his heart. At this point, he's probably de powered down to like 300, which now puts him around Jero's level. And it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all for him. Um, so, um, so Goku's like, in, in the last death chapter, he can, Goku can now tell, it's like, crap, my heart. And then he remembers, because this is a smarter Goku now, remember. He's more intelligent. Just because of his year training with the Red Run Army, he is overall more intelligent. Still not even still goofy at points, but more intelligent. He remembers, like, my virus, like, the virus is like, um, uh, he forgot it, and he forgot his pills back at Grandpa, uh, at Gohan, so, oh, uh, crap, now we got a problem. It's like, uh, it's like, it's the virus, and it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, crap, we gotta get his heart medication. Um, and then 19 comes again, just, uh, but immediately Goku just goes ape real quick, which unfortunately accelerates the virus, but at least gives him a temporary enough boost that he just crushes 19 in his hands, just, because he's got now, because now he's a Super Saiyan, a Golden Ozaru, basically, which is probably like a 500 times multiplier. You do the math, 50 and 10, so 500. Um, so, yeah, so he crushes him briefly in his hand, because he's probably down to like 600 uh, or 6 mil, or probably like going fading past like 5 million as in his base at the moment, where normally would be at 10. It's about half as strong as he normally would be times uh, 5 by 500, and you get 2.5 million. So, like, just like Vegeta did. So he immediately crushes him, but that now it's just... Uh, and and Jiro's just like... Uh, it's like, it's... And he, he must have... Beautiful, son. Just, and he actually has, like, a tinge of... I must admit, this form yours is quite beautiful. And then, you know, your, your father! And it's like, till next time, Goku. And it's like, it seems I was still ill-prepared, but I have a backup plan for everything. And he, he's getting out, he's basically hightailing it, but he just shows up to try to take Jero on. And Vegeta right now would probably be like around eight. He'd, he'd be overall stronger than Jero, but, uh, you know, he's berating Kakarot. He's like, oh, Kakarot! As you weaklings, like, yeah, yeah, and then virus, they get him, they get Goku away, they get to get him his medicine back at Gohan's. So, you know, uh, Jero's uh, high tail, but Vegeta in Super Saiyan form, which would be around 400 million. Um, Vegeta is now high tail, is also high tailing it towards him. He's like, where are you going, old man? He's like, Ugh. and then, you know, he, he catches up to him, blasts him, injures him, but blasts him again, and he absorbs the air, he's like, damn it! And then, you know, he basically blinds him and is able to get to 17 and 18th place. Now, Goku's at this point has gotten back because, you know, they can fly pretty fast. So they get him back, give him his medicine. He's going to be pretty much out of commission for a little bit. Uh, now he basically unlocks 17 and 18. Now, Lapis or Lazuli? I know that was their names. Was Lazuli the 18's real name? I think it's Lazuli. That sounds a bit more lady, feminine of the two names, I suppose. Um, Lapis does sound like a more... Um, Neutral, so, hmm. Uh, so he unlocks them, uh, Trunks shows up, basically they all show up, it basically has the same way, 17 and 18 both kill Jiro, and, uh, you know, kill, kill Son Goku, and then, uh, and then, you know, is it Goku? Is it Goku? Wow, I haven't seen him in years, like, you really want us to kill him? I mean, I remember being a nice little kid. Now, I imagine Goku has met 18 and 17 before, because age-wise, I mean, they're probably not much older than each other. Um, they're probably, I think, in the same age range, give or take. At least at this point in time. If not, Goku might be a little older. Um, yeah, actually, you know what? Give me a second here. Because if they're not the same age range, it's not going to make as much sense. Um, let's see, Android, 
18. Well, how old is he? Well, first off, I can actually get a real name, too. Um, uh, oh, she's, yeah, she's Lazuli. Yeah, okay. She is Lazuli. Right on. Uh, let's see. Do we have an actual age for her? No, I don't think they give an age. Uh, appearance. Um, don't think so. Now, because of she, because she became a cyborg, she doesn't age, so it's hard to figure out her age anyway. Um. Oh wait a minute, biography. Maybe that's it. Uh. Uh, and the, and the other trends or notorious like uh, were. My chance of looking for a fresh material. Uh, well, according to this, he met them when they were twin and then like uh, notorious delinquents or something like that. But because they don't give an age, I can make it that they met when they were they were young. They probably met Goku initially, um, but uh, for and Goro had basically kept them for long term experiments. And uh, you know they they say, I mean, you know Goku's like. And then, you know, hi, and maybe like, oh, you know, they were like, yeah, and they maybe got into some, they maybe hung out a little bit on the, on base before, uh, basically the experience in Goku basically just ruined the Red Room Army. So I can, I would make an argument that you could have made, the, I could have made, just make, you could make the argument that the argument could have been made that they could have uh, met at one point. So I, I will say they've met a few, a few times. And they remember Goku, and they remember him being a nice kid. Like, you want us to kill him? Oh, do we really have to? Come on. Yeah, as much as I regret it. I, so you want us to kill your own son, dog? Come on. It's like, show some heart. Like, I don't have a heart anymore, so we're chased by an engine. Uh, so basically it ends basically with him killing Jero, un waking up 16, and beating Vegeta's ass down. Uh, Vegeta at this point is stronger than his canon counterpart. But he's he's basically... 18 and him are would be relatively equal in uh, terms of power, but ultimately she, he'd lose because they don't tire. They got infinite stamina. so And she'd take advantage of that and still break his arm and all that. And then they kick everyone else's ass. Piccolo, Piccolo, to be fair, could beat them with the Kaioken, but ultimately I don't think he gets around to doing it because I think 17 just beats their ass. It beats... Similar to how it happened, it happened really quick if you remember in the um, in the canon because they can't sense their power levels. So in the actual series, so it happened real quick. Seventeen just kind of wasted them, uh, but it doesn't kill them, and then they go off and it's like, ah, I guess we're gonna have to go find them again. Um, and both these like, yeah, it's gonna be, it will be kind of nice to meet to go see Goku again. It's like, yeah, um, should, are we gonna kill him? I don't know. Let's see what happens when we meet him. <laughs> uh, it's like, I do want to kill son Goku. <laughs> uh, I still want to. Uh, I still want to do it. I, I still think we should on the grounds that I want to. So we're gonna leave off with the Android 18, 17, and 16, basically going off to look for Goku. Uh, the rest of them got their asses kicked, and Cell has come back from the future. Now, Cell, keep in mind, will be roughly in the neighborhood of. The 700 million marker, which will make him far more powerful than this can. See, I don't think his power was anything more than maybe 500 million. And this, oh no, he's stronger. He's definitely going to be strong because it's all scaled up. So that, that's the way it's going to have to be. But that's where we're going to leave it off for part four right now. Join us next week for part five. Uh, thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. Do a review of it at some point. Ideas for who would win. So, uh, uh, bleh. I use her win Star Wars Super Hero Magic What If. Anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to it at some point. Um, not much else to talk about. I, I, I do have the day off tomorrow. So besides seeing Christopher Robin, I might have another video up. But tomorrow, I don't really have any plans to do videos. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, though, and I'll see you next.